343 just provided us a ton of information when it comes to the future of Halo Infinite. We're talking season four and beyond. And 343 commented on things like cross card customization, a future campaign, new matchmaking UI and experiences, and a whole lot more. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. It is the best way to help with the video and channel within the all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you're part of that 58% of people who are not subscribed to this channel, well, you know what to do. So in this Discord call with 343, they went over a lot of different topics. I have it timestamped all down below. But the first thing they actually mentioned was Super Fiesta will be coming back into Halo. Though it sounds like right now it'll be just like Super Fiesta and also Fiesta kind of mixed into the same playlist. Eventually they did say they wanted to mix it all together, just be Fiesta. So regular weapons, super weapons, it's regular equipment, and also the upgraded equipment. It's talking about playlists, they also mentioned about why they go about doing like this rotation thing that they do right now within Halo Infinite. I say it all the time in my comments, people get really frustrated when their favorite mode gets rotated out. First thing they mentioned is about quick play and how quick play is not really meant to be a spot where it's supposed to hold everything that's in the game. It's supposed to be kind of like a greatest hits is kind of the mentality they have behind quick play. It might be why it's the most played mode within Halo Infinite at the moment. Though they did state that they want to try mixing in a little bit more of the B-side type of modes, like the modes are not as popular or as played, but try to mix it into the quick play side of things. Just so it's still in the game, you have a chance to play it. I actually asked about Last Spartan Standing and what the current status is of that mode because I love Last Spartan Standing, but since it was a free for all mode, it was actually by far the least played mode within Halo, which is quite interesting. Now, 343 did state that they are currently working on Last Spartan Standing. Uh, they don't want to kill the mode at all, but there are no updates they have right now at the moment, but they want to bring it back with a new experience. No time frame right now when it comes to when we will see last spartan standing but we can't assume at some point we will see it come back i hope they make last spartan standing doubles would be perfect as halo has always been much more of a team oriented game and i think having the solo style which while it's fun like free for all which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video is always a key mode to have within halo but it's always less played because halo's just always played better as a team now talking about new experiences when it comes to playlists within halo infinite we're actually going to be talking about a new experimental playlist that we be rotating into halo infinite it quite often. It's meant to be a playlist where people can jump in, test out some new things, and there actually will be a survey people can fill out and provide feedback on so you guys can actually help mold the matchmaking experience when it comes to some of these more experimental modes within Halo Infinite. Michael Shore specifically said, the guy who's in charge of the playlist and Forge, said that the sky is the limit, honestly, when it comes to what is available for this experimental mode. And that experimental mode being called Combat Workshop is kind of the general terminology for this. It'll be around for just over two weeks and we have a chance to jump in and play a bunch of it. And they actually did announce what that first mode is going to be for the combat workshop and it's going to be BTB heavies, long awaited, long requested mode. And I'm very excited to see that come back because the vehicles in Halo Infinite are definitely fun to utilize. And right now the way BTB is at the moment, there really isn't a whole lot of vehicle play, honestly. And so it'd be really cool to see how it plays out within Halo Infinite sandbox. And while we're on the topic of big team battle, they did talk about the Pelican drops currently within the mode. And they did state that they do recognize that there was a lot of feedback about the inconsistent and uneven Pelican drops that happen within the game. Uh, 343 did state that there is a complex underlying system that's kind of causing this stuff to happen. They are looking into it and trying to fix it, but it did say that they couldn't really provide any legitimate timing to when they could accomplish this bug for being fixed. So this sounds like an issue that's going to be a long running within Big Team Battle of Halo Infinite that you're going to have some uneven Pelican drops where some team will just get a tank and you won't, and that's going to be a big pain. Now, it doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it really hurts. Continuing on with the matchmaking experience, they actually talk about a match composer 343 community director sketch specifically mentions the match composer and how well it was received within the master chief collection and talk about how they want to try to bring something like that back but he was kind of vague on his terminology i think since it is in an early stage of conceptual work right now nothing's being actively done it seems like at the moment i did state in a previous video with the may 10th update that they're actually gonna be updating the uis where you actually have a list of 10 different modes being showcased on the matchmaking menu instead of five 
before you have to scroll, which I think is a huge improvement already. We see games like Call of Duty currently utilizing the match composer type system where you get to select whatever kind of modes you want to jump in and play, and then you get to do that. Of course, with Halo Infinite, there are a ton of different sub modes within the main modes. Just look at Rumble Pit, for example, where you have like five different modes within that one mode. So how do you decide what you can actually put in for the match composer side of things? I think that's kind of what they're trying to work out right now at the moment. It seems like this is a development that's kind of in the works right now, but it's going to be long in the future, probably like season five, season six, maybe even season seven type of stuff. So don't hold your breath when it comes to a match composer coming into Halo Infinite, but just know that they are in the works of trying to put something like the MCC match composer together. Now, the fact that there is no news is also kind of news when it comes to this next section. These are all the stuff that they were asked about within this call, and they couldn't provide any updates about. One they talked about was the career progression system, and then when will that come into Halo Infinite? And it stated that they, it's in currently in active development at the moment, uh, but they will have some more updates about it coming soon, probably an official reveal, maybe even possibly season four, as we have seen some leaked content when it comes to the different tiers and emblems you can have as the career progression. Again, this is all kind of leaked stuff so kind of take it as you will and uh we'll definitely know more about it as soon as we get closer to that time frame but it is an active development they are working on career progression it will come into the game no word on when though i've seen some leaks and rumors point towards season four best but just because that's when the leaks start popping up so we're thinking oh next season then maybe again we'll wait and see and like i talked about earlier in this video cross core customization was mentioned within this call as well and 343 stated that there were no updates and this is specific specifically what Sketch had to say about cross-core customization. We don't have any updates to share today. We owe an update and will share one as soon as we're able. Would love to get Sean Barron in here for a future lunch chat. I know cross-core is something that people have been dying for pretty much since the release of this game. And the shame that we didn't really get any extra information about this. I'm still kind of holding hope that we'll have some form of a cross-core customization update with season four coming here at the end of June. As the last time we actually got some cross core customization update was about six months ago so we're looking for something and i'm sure we'll get some more information soon so, you know it sounds like sketch wants to put together an official blog or some kind of official word about the current status on it so as soon as we get some more information you know i'll share with you guys here on the channel a fan favorite map that was promised for season three has still not shown up in any situation and that map is plaza if you guys remember before the launch of season three in a live stream 343 stated that they do plan to bring in plaza during season three Three. And well, I actually asked about that within the chat as well. And they said no update at the moment. So my hopes to see Plaza come in within season three, I think are rather unlikely. This might be pushed to a season four release. I was fully expecting to see the site unseen update come with Plaza to get people excited about jumping in to play some new content. It's not there at the moment. We currently don't have any word when it will come into the game. Michael Shore did previously state that the fastest turnaround for a Forge map to go from found to put into matchmaking is about eight weeks. So I can imagine the work for Plaza being close towards the end and being able to be put into hopefully towards the end of season three, but they might wait until season four for just a little bit of extra content to ride that hype train. Another big discussion point that was brought up a lot within the chat was campaign DLC and when can we expect to see anything like that happen? And 343 stated again, there were no updates to be brought, but there was a glimmer of hope. Sketch replied saying, I can't imagine Halo never having campaign experiences again but we don't have any details to share today. I think this kind of ties into what Pierre Hintze mentioned about previously saying that Halo will be continuing to be developed by 343 and more stories and epic moments will be told through 343 in some capacity. So I do believe that, uh, though the recent leaks and rumors have heard that a lot of the layoffs hit the campaign team at 343 the hardest. And a lot of leaks and rumors talked about from specifically Jason Schreier, who is a much more credible insider saying how 343 might move to much more of a management role when it comes to the development of Halo or being like they'll be the source of knowledge and expertise and also the idea of people when it comes to making Halo. But when it comes to the actual like coding development style, they might actually put those off to third party teams. I think right now when it comes to campaign DLC, I don't even think 343 fully knows what the future has in store. If they will be able to add in campaign to Halo Infinite, I would love to see that happen. Or will they just release a completely new game?
game. There's a lot of things up in the air at the moment. Let's talk about Forge and community maps coming into matchmaking. Some new content, some new maps for you guys to play. They did say that there are more to come. A big question that was brought up about bringing in community made maps and Forge maps into matchmaking was BTB. BTB is definitely needing some more maps and specifically replied to about having Forge maps in BTB and said that it takes a lot longer to make a good BTB map that for matchmaking because of well how much larger the maps are there are more issues that could pop, prop up right there and it is more difficult to test out as you do need 24 players instead of eight players so any form of testing that the forgers themselves can put together or 343 it just takes a lot more effort to do though they didn't sound like they were ruling it out completely it's just saying like hey it's going to take some time for us to get btb maps in because you still have to go through just as much testing but since the maps are so much bigger that it just requires more time a fan favorite mode may be returning here rather soon and that is husky raid if you guys don't know what it is basically everyone spawns in with like a fiesta weapon you have a long hallway it's capture the flag and it's total chaos and actually kind of fun in a ridiculous way and 343 even stated that they have the idea of maybe creating a template of what they would want to do for a husky raid map but then have the community art it and then you have the community put it all together to make a different playlist out of it kind of like what they did with halo 5 and that turned out really well and i hope to see something very similar because husky raid even though it is ridiculous it is actually kind of a lot of fun now we've seen the community slayer playlist come in and it's been doing really well looks like we'll be seeing some more style of the community team doubles coming in which i am actually really looking forward to that because i always found that team doubles requires its own style of maps just put it in the regular 4v4 maps it just seems a little bit slow a little bit too open the 2v2 with some forge maps will play out i think a lot better and these maps that they're going to be implementing into this community team doubles playlist was ripped from a tournament that was recently played by the community so you know that these maps are getting fully vetted and they will be very well forged and awesome maps to play on once they do get implemented they didn't really provide a time frame we will see this it did feel like they were kind of mentioning it more like as a season four kind of thing but again once we get some concrete information about that i'll let you guys know here on the channel forge is going to get some great updates when it comes to season four one of those is going to be the mini game mode that seems like the little, little mini warhawks that was initially a glitch i think it's not going to be actually made into a feature which is fantastic a whole new set of objects scalable water coming in with season four which is going to be huge for a lot of forgers i've seen a lot of people try to make like a valhalla recreation and doing some weird way to make water happen within that map but now you actually have scalable water which is going to be huge for forgers and content creation right there uh, they also mentioned that i put in the rest of the forerunner palette when it comes to season four as well so that would be completed within forge now i know a big question a lot of you guys have with forge is campaign ai coming into forge we've heard about it for quite some time now and it is currently in active development at the moment though michael short did say that there is no release date at the moment but it is coming this is very interesting as we've heard a lot of leaks and rumors about forge firefight coming in with season four though if you can't get the campaign ai working for people to make it in forge well that kind of delays the whole thing again that's kind of how it works with leaks and rumors that it sounds like more like an idea that's happening at 343 and people are just kind of throwing dates to see like what, what might sound right again well we'll probably see what they mean maybe season four maybe season five but this is an aspect of forge that's actively in development which if we can make like a community ran firefight mode that would be absolutely amazing we do know about some pve modes like bastion which is like a king of the hill type of mode and extraction which is supposed to be kind of like a bomb defense kind of thing with pve in mind that maybe some of that tech will be able to be brought over to the forge side of things once they're full implemented if you want to know about all the changes coming in with the may 10th update well check out this video right here thank you all for watching catch you on the next one peace out